Hey, here's the next one for texturing with Blender and today I want to show you how to bake a normal map from a high poly to a low poly mesh. This is the high poly mesh, I just sculpted a few details onto the area at the top. When you have a look at the wireframe you see it is quite dense. Let's see the statistics. It has about 400,000 triangles. And the low poly mesh is just, yeah, a box. I unwrapped the low poly with a smart UV project. So we can directly go ahead and start baking the normal map. And you would see we will need a lot of steps, but I will show you in the end a good way to simplify it. Okay, let's have a look at the material in the shader editor. The low poly has a default shader, a principal shader. And the first thing we have to do is to add a normal map node. So press Shift and A to add the node and search for normal map. Here it is, now I connect it to the normal input of the principal shader. And then I go ahead and add another node, which is an image texture. This I connect to the normal map, the color output to the color input. And last but not least we need an image, so I press new to create it. I increase the size to 2K and the name we can set to normal cube for instance. Ok great, and now important set the color space to non-color data. Ok nice, with this setup we are ready to bake onto the normal image. But I want to see what I'm baking, so I open a new window. And in the drop down I select the image editor. Here you see the image that we created, the normal cube, if you don't see it then select it. And then be sure that you have the node for the image selected. Ok, now comes the tedious step in which you have to select both meshes, both objects. So first of all I make the high poly object visible, then select it in the viewport, then press the shift key and select the low poly as well. That's important to select first the high then the low poly. Then go to the render properties and choose the cycles render engine because we need this for baking. Then we have to go to the bake section and select normal for the bake type. Then be sure to have this option checked selected to active to bake the selected high poly to the active low poly object. This is why we selected the objects in this order. The maximum ray distance can be set to zero most of the time, but I often have to change the extrusion. Let's have a look at this example. Some geometry of the high poly mesh is above the low poly mesh. This can happen when you sculpt the details to the high poly mesh, but of course when I bake it now I want these details to be baked onto the normal map. You can measure this. This one is about 32 millimeters above the top plane of the low poly mesh. So in order to cover these details when baking, I set the extrusion to a value of about 34 or 35 millimeters. Alright, so let's go ahead and press bake. And after a short while, you see the normal map in the image editor. Now can hide the high poly object and see the normal map on the low poly mesh. Now we can play around with the shader, change the roughness or the color. And the normal map gives you the impression that this mesh has a lot of details. Which isn't true, it is just a mesh with six faces. But as you saw the process has a lot of steps and it isn't fun at all. The nodes have to be created, the node has to be selected. The objects have to be selected in the right order. The render engine has to be set and the bake settings have to be defined. So I thought, let me simplify this for me and you. What I did is to start a new add-on called J Bake Tools. In this add-on you can define the low and the high poly object. And then bake the maps with one button click. Here you can see it in action, but it is just a few hours old. I'm sure when this video here is uploaded, many new features are already implemented. 
You can find the add-on here on my GitHub, the link is added to the description and of course it is free. You see we don't have much code at the moment, just the nodes are created and the details of a high poly mesh are baked as a normal map onto a low poly mesh. That's the start, if you have any feature wishes or you find bugs then add these as issues to the GitHub. By the way if you don't know my Instagram, I have many renders and small videos there, just have a look and follow me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, perhaps you'd like to join JNM as a member and be mentioned like these two guys or support me by becoming my patron. If you have any questions add these to the comments, thanks for watching, thanks for your support and I see you in the next one here on JNM.